Okay, guys, sorry it's been a while. You'll have to excuse the noise. Um, doing some testing on my uh, my charging equipment, solar, everything like that. So I've been pretty busy doing that. Uh, I have installed one more solar panel up on the roof, so I've got three of the 175 watt uh, Renogy panels up there. Right now it's charging at about a 25 amps. Um, now I'll show you. Uh, so I did have this charger, the Go Power uh, 45 amp charger. Um, but I picked up a 100 amp charger. So I'm literally just testing that right now. Um, so let me show you what I got going on. Yeah. The limiting factor right now uh, is my extension cord. It's getting a little on the warm side. But as you can see, with the 25 amps coming from solar, I am charging at 107 amps. 1.5 kilowatts so I've got my golf cart batteries I got uh, four golf cart batteries under the bed right now so let me take you in the back part of the garage um, and uh, I'll show you what I got all wired up there <laughs> okay so back here in the garage and you see I got my toolbox set back here. I haven't got all my tools in here yet. Um, but you got to see my wiring nightmare. <laughs> so this is my solar coming from the three panels up front. A little bit on the warm side. Not too bad though. You got to worry about how much amperage you can actually put through a uh, solar wire and uh, gauge it properly so I've got that going into this charge controller I have more panels to go to this charge controller so this is 50 amps this is 20 amps so I'll get 70 amps out of both of them this is the power max I'm testing right now that's charging at 100 amps. Um, my 2000, you'll have to excuse all the wiring because this is all just like sensing wires, more sensor wires. They make them so long. My communication hub for both my uh, um, charge controllers through the Renogy app. My shunt, which is showing how much how much power is coming through. Ooh, yeah, that ground wire is a little on the warm side. I gotta change this ground wire because it's actually burnt on the inside, but it's the only spare I had. Got lots of this wire. It's not too bad. Got everything going into a cutoff, um, except for this. This goes direct to battery. I've got a uh, 300 amp fuse on the batteries, um, but yeah, so right now I'm just like running extension cords. Um, I still have yet to hardwire anything, um, like the AC side of it, but with this extension cord, you can tell I already burnt the first one, but I did that at my shop, um, so the middle one's not working, but uh, yeah, this is... This, this cord's actually really warm, but I do have an outlet. I'm gonna be mounting on the outside uh, 30 amp input. I have to rewire all that. Um, but yeah, I'm just, just in the testing phase right now. So, still pushing 100 amps, 107 amps. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, even like with the without this running, the 2,000 watt inverter, I still have no problem running my AC, my fridge, uh, my 12 volt fridge under there, my TV, 
my toaster it draws a thousand watts and you only use a toaster for like three minutes big deal right um, but yeah basically I'm just I literally just wired this up and I'm testing so that common ground here going on okay so the that dips down to 50 amp 40 amp whatever I think it dips down to 25 amp and then it'll shoot back up again once this cools down a little bit then it'll shoot back up again Um, but yeah, it's just bloody hot today. I mean, it's like 36 out, 36 Celsius out right now. So I've got, this is my shunt. Eh, it's not too bad. I can touch it anyway. It's warm, but not hot, hot. Um, so yeah, so this is my common ground. Everything goes through the shunt. Um, inverter. The inverter wire never gets warm. Um, but yeah, basically I can shut everything down um, with a flick of this switch. And the only thing that'll stay running is if I'm plugged in this, right? So basically I'm still, this whole bus was will only be 12 volt. I won't have a um, switch. You know, like a 50 amp uh, switch to go from AC to um, to DC. I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to use this, put it on a switch, and I'll use just generator power because I got a 4,000 watt generator. Um, so it'll just basically charge this, and I'll still use my inverter at the same time. But yeah, so. This thing is uh, automatic, so it's obviously pushing lower amperage because it got hot. Um, but it's still pushing in 50 amps. But hopefully I won't have to use that. Like I'm going to put a 20, the input I'll have here. Actually, I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm going to have wired into the side of the bus there. Okay, give me a second. Oh, just killed my back. Um, okay, so I have this will be my inlet. That's my uh, for sure power. As you can tell, I got it from the auction. Um, so this will be my inlet. I'll wire this direct to a 20 amp outlet and uh, that will plug into the 100 amp charger so that'll go direct to that uh, come on open up no idea what that was heard something pop heard something pop Still pushing 50 amps. Oh, I was probably just one of one of my windows clicking. Yeah, see, like. <laughs> Freaks you out. There. So don't get freaked out again. <laughs> so yeah, so this will be my inlet. Oh come on. Oh, I can't open this one hand. It's got like a little clip on it. but So I've got that. Then I've got oh, this cable. Right? So this is my generator side. Um, and this is the side that plugs in on the outside. But I'm going to cut this off and wire it in to this unit 
and then this unit plugs into into this bam like that and the reason I didn't buy the proper one is because these things are bloody expensive from Camco and as you can see it's brand new but I got it from the auction dirt cheap <laughs> all right so that is what I've been up to as you can tell it's bloody hot out um yeah so as I said I'm just testing everything um lots of power that was the battery I was using I'm just recharging it now with This folding solar panel, it's a Renogy folding solar panel, and it comes with its own P PWM charger. So right now it's pushing 2.2 amps because the battery is at 100%. But yeah, I'm gonna end up selling that. Again, I picked that up at the auction. I'm gonna sell that. AC, it'll end up moving. I'm gonna put it at the back of the bus. Um, that's the third solar panel I installed. I've got two more on the other side, so it goes down quite a bit. But Jenny, as I said, excuse the noise and what will really help oh. so I've got two of the max air fans again got it from the auction about paid about 20% of what they're actually worth so cut some holes in the roof I'm still gonna insulate over top of this over top of the metal and go half inch board foam uh, foam board uh, basically this stuff here just gonna glue it right to the ceiling and then put sheathing over top of that but yeah so that's what I've been up to been doing a lot of stuff like that but the main thing is oh and I've got uh, under the bed I've got two 26 gallon uh, tanks I still have to put the hosing together and he's uh, I don't even know where half the stuff I put but I bought the fill door to go on the side of the bus so I cut that in so I'll cut that in and uh, then I can have water fill yeah it's coming together so you'll have to excuse the tarp I block it off so that there's less of an area for because like not insulating the roof or painting the roof yet um, it gets pretty warm the heat transfer so I put the tarp so I can run the AC and it's still it, no problem keeping it cool with just half the bus um, and not having to run the crap out of my AC so yep so that's what I got going on and yeah, still charging at 50 amps so that uh, 100 amp charger it's probably just because it's so warm but it does bump back up once it cools down yeah but it's, uh, it's a bloody hot one today oh, I got so 33 outside probably feels like 36 37 and inside is 30 with 60% humidity but yeah so we're still plodding along you know I got I still got to tint the windows I have the temp nice good ceramic tint and a ceramic uh, coat the uh, windshield um, that'll prevent any heat from coming into the bus uh, yeah, but the only reason I hadn't tinted the windows yet 
is because I didn't have any squeegees at the time, so I borrowed these from my sister because, you know, they used to, they own the uh, tinting company, so borrowed those from her, and yeah, still plodding along. It's just really slow because it's really hot. And when I'm doing an electrical, I gotta shut the AC off and trying to work without AC, forget it. <laughs> and it's way too hot to paint the bus in the sun, you know? Um, yeah, we have had some uh, thunderstorms lately. But yeah, that's basically all what I'm continuing up to. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Absolutely pretty good. Okay, so that's oh that's basically my update right now. Oh, hang on. And I also have another one of those uh, 200 watt um, folding solar panels. Got it from the auction. Uh, but this one is just the solar panels. Doesn't have the chart built-in charge controller. And the one. The one from uh, the one that's outside right now with the charge controller, it came with this case, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, basically done using it, so I'm gonna put it up for sale on like Marketplace or Kijij or something like that. Uh, and then I can get one more panel, 175 watt Renogy panel for the roof that'll complete that section that'll be 700 watts um, so that'll complete that string of uh, solar and then I can the other solar controller I've got that folding uh, uh, 200 watts of solar that can go into the 20 amp controller that'll give me my 70 amps charging I should be really good with that I don't think I don't think I'll need much more than that and as I said, like that 100 amp charger is literally just for backup because this is the first time I've actually had to use it. Um, and that's been weeks of running my AC and everything. So, yeah, everything's coming along good. Okay, cheers, guys. I got to cool down. <laughs>